Welcome back to the Community Corner Podcast, where we explore the companies in the S500 through the lens of behavioral finance. I'm Arnav. And I'm Mikhail. Today, we're focusing on Train Technologies, a global leader in climate solutions for buildings, homes, and transportation. Train Technologies is known for its innovative products and services that improve energy efficiency and sustainability. We'll be discussing how behavioral finance impacts their decision-making, diversity and inclusion efforts, adaptation to different markets, and how they compare to other companies in the industry. Let's get started. Train Technologies has been a significant player in the climate solutions industry for years. From a behavioral finance perspective, how do biases like the status quo bias and loss aversion influence their decision making, especially in areas like product development and sustainability initiatives? The status quo bias is particularly relevant to train technologies approach, especially in how they manage their product development and sustainability initiatives. The status quo bias refers to the preference for maintaining existing conditions rather than making changes. Train Technologies leverages this bias by focusing on continuously improving their existing climate solutions while gradually integrating more sustainable and energy-efficient technologies. This approach allows Train Technologies to maintain stability and reliability in their offerings, which is critical in industries where long-term investments and customer trust are essential. Loss aversion also plays a significant role, particularly in how trained technologies approaches risk management and investment decisions related to sustainability. Loss aversion refers to the tendency for people to prefer avoiding losses rather than acquiring equivalent gains. In the context of climate solutions, trained technologies might prioritize investments in proven technologies and sustainable practices to minimize the risk of regulatory noncompliance or market shifts towards greener products. This cautious approach helps protect their market position and ensures consistent service delivery, especially as environmental regulations become more stringent. On leveraging the status quo bias and loss aversion has helped train technologies maintain its leadership position in the climate solutions industry, appealing to both customers and investors who value stability and innovation. Exactly. Train technology's strategic use of the status quo bias in maintaining their core products and loss aversion in pursuing sustainability initiatives appeals to investors looking for a company that balances stability with cautious innovation. However, this approach also means that trained technologies must carefully manage the risks associated with market changes, regulatory shifts, and evolving customer preferences, particularly as the demand for sustainable solutions continues to grow. Let's talk about diversity, equity, and inclusion at trained technologies. As a major player in the climate solutions industry, DEI is particularly important for trained technologies. How does this intersect with behavioral finance? Trained technologies approach to DEI is crucial, especially as the company operates in a global and highly competitive industry where inclusive can drive better decision-making, innovation, and employee engagement. From a behavioral finance perspective, strong DEI initiatives can enhance trained technology's ability to innovate and adapt by fostering a culture that values diversity and inclusion. A commitment to DEI allows trained technologies to attract and retain top talent from various backgrounds, which is essential for maintaining its competitive edge in the climate solutions industry. For investors, trained technologies focus on DEI can signal that the company is socially responsible and aligned with modern societal values, which can enhance its reputation and appeal to ESG-focused investors. Additionally, DEI efforts can help train technologies build stronger relationships with customers, employees, and communities, reinforcing its brand as one that values inclusivity and ethical leadership. Investors are increasingly considering DEI when evaluating companies, especially in industries like climate solutions, where the ability to foster inclusivity and innovation is critical to long-term success. That's right. 
By embedding DEI into their corporate culture and sustainability strategies, trained technologies not only improves its ability to serve a broad range of stakeholders, but also strengthens its market position and attractiveness to socially conscious investors. Moving on to market adaptation, trained technologies operates in a highly competitive and environmentally focused industry. How does the company adapt to changing climate regulations and market demands, and what role does behavioral finance play in this? Trained technology strategy involves continuously adapting its product offerings, sustainability practices, and business models to meet the evolving needs of customers and regulatory requirements while maintaining its focus on innovation and environmental stewardship. From a behavioral finance perspective, this adaptability is crucial for managing the risks associated with regulatory changes, market volatility, and environmental concerns. Trained technology's ability to understand and respond to new climate trends such as the increasing demand for energy-efficient buildings, the shift toward renewable energy, and the integration of smart technologies allows it to stay relevant and competitive. By using data analytics, customer feedback, and market research, trained technologies can identify emerging opportunities and adjust its strategies accordingly, helping to mitigate risks and capitalize on new opportunities in the climate solutions market. And this adaptability is essential for trained technologies, especially as they face competition from other climate solutions companies and the growing demand for more sustainable and energy-efficient products. Their ability to maintain their brand's relevance and leadership in a changing industry is key to their continued success. Exactly. Trained technologies focus on understanding climate market dynamics and adapting its strategies accordingly allows them to remain a dominant player in the climate solutions industry while staying ahead of emerging trends and challenges. However, this also requires them to be proactive in responding to changes in environmental policies, technological advancements, and competitive pressures. Now, Let's compare trained technologies to other companies in the climate solutions and industrial sectors like Carrier Global, Johnson Controls, and Honeywell. How do the behavioral finance dynamics differ? Trained technologies' dynamics are often compared to other climate solutions giants like Carrier Global, Johnson Controls, and Honeywell, particularly in their approach to innovation, sustainability, and competition. Trained technology strength lies in its focus on energy efficiency and sustainability appealing to investors looking for a company that balances environmental stewardship with strategic growth. Carrier Global, with its emphasis on HVAC systems and building solutions, appeals to investors interested in a company that prioritizes it. Technology-driven growth and global reach. Johnson Controls, known for its leadership in building management systems and smart technologies, attracts those looking for a company that is driving advancements in smart buildings and integrated solutions. Honeywell, with its focus on industrial automation and connected technologies, appeals to investors interested in companies that integrate advanced technology with environmental solutions. Train. Technology's behavioral finance dynamics are shaped by its reputation for sustainability, strong market presence, and adaptability, making it an attractive option for those seeking stability and growth in the climate solutions industry. And unlike Honeywell, which focuses heavily on industrial automation and connected technologies, training technology strength lies in its specialization in climate solutions and energy efficiency, appealing to a different type of investor and market. Absolutely. Each of these companies has its own behavioral finance dynamics that influence how investors perceive their value and potential risks. For trained technologies, the focus on sustainability, energy efficiency, and market adaptability provides a unique value proposition in the climate solutions industry. To sum up, training technology's approach to business is deeply influenced by behavioral finance principles whether it's through their sustainability strategies, adaptation to changing climate regulations, or their approach to DEI. But like all companies, they are still subject to the biases and perceptions that can influence investor behavior. That's right. Understanding these dynamics provides a clearer picture of what drives trained technology stock price and where the potential risks and rewards lie. Thanks for joining us on this episode of the Community Corner Podcast.
Until next time, I'm Arnav. And I'm Nikhil. Stay curious and keep questioning the narratives. Thank <laughs> you.